up everyone? I just got back from the gym. Well, I'm lying. I actually didn't just get back from the gym. I had to finish up some things for work and I'm finally getting to my first meal of the day. We're a little behind today in terms of the bulk. But this is gonna be loud, oh my God. Hope you guys can still hear me. But we are getting it done here. I usually have every single day, I'm pretty much eating very similar things when it comes to my bulk. It's just, I feel like it's gonna be eggs, bacon, and some form of bread in the morning. And then I'm gonna have, you know, chicken or steak for lunch, maybe even chicken tenders, depending on what I really wanna eat. A carb source would be like, I don't even know, it depends on what I want. Potatoes, rice, maybe sweet potatoes, get some veggies in for that fiber in the middle of the day. And, Get in a few snacks, maybe a protein shake, a banana, and you know, maybe some almonds, some nuts. I haven't eaten too many nuts lately. That's, you know, if, if I have them on me. And then for dinner, maybe some more steak or more chicken, probably whatever I have for lunch. And then another protein shake, heavy carbs, maybe I'll eat a bunch like a bowl of fruit. And they'll basically call it. I mean, pretty much even if I'm bulking or if I'm cutting, I'm gonna be eating similar foods. It's not gonna change up too much. You don't need to, first of all, you should be eating healthy anyway, whether you're bulking or cutting. Obviously, if I'm bulking, I might have some more ice cream because I didn't hit my calories for the day. Just to really get it up there at the end. But I'm not just going to Wendy's every single day and eating whatever I want. You know, I'm still thinking of my biggest mistake on a bulk for me was definitely when I stopped eating enough vegetables. I thought, I gotta get my protein in. I gotta, you know, down these french fries, um, things like that. And that's what killed me because I wasn't getting enough fiber and I was so backed up, I couldn't even go to the bathroom. And if you're backed up, you don't wanna eat any more food, then you can't eat more food. If you can't eat more food, then you're screwed in a bulk and you don't wanna screw yourself over. So these are just some of my bulking tips that you guys can use just to make sure that you guys are getting in the calories you need for the day and not making it too hard on yourself. So the main thing you wanna do when you're bulking is have a plan. Have your meals ready if you can. So you don't wanna be running to the store every single day, buy in bulk if you can. Costco is probably one of the best moves that you guys can do if you're trying to go on a serious bulk. And if you're too full and you don't feel like eating, I would highly recommend just drinking your calories. So there's so many times I will just, I, I can't eat anymore. I'm not where I need to be for the day. And what do I do? I will just put it into a blender, fruit, oats, milk, water if you don't feel like having milk, and, and, and some ice just for, you know, make it more chilly and get some of the foam out of the protein shake. And I'll just do it like that. It doesn't have to be complicated. If you can't eat, if you can't eat them, just drink them. And bulking is gonna be easy for everybody. Some people bulk easier than others. Some people can bulk uh, faster than others. Some people have to take their time. Some people really need to learn about how their stomach reacts to food. If you don't know what food, oh, I had to drop some of those eggs. Don't know what foods work with your stomach, you are going to struggle so much with bulking because if if the food don't agree with you, my guy or my girl, whoever listened to this video, you are screwed. Like, if you don't know the foods you can get down easily or the foods that work for you, you're losing the battle already. I would highly recommend going to the doctor and I haven't done it myself. It's something I've been meaning to do. Maybe I'll make a YouTube video about this. But you can go to certain doctors and they can tell you what foods you're allergic to. And you can be allergic to foods and that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna break out in hives. It just means it don't work all the way in here with your microbiome, with your stomach, with things like that. So it, you're really, like all the top bodybuilders, they know what every single food, this is some turkey bacon, what any single food, starch substance is gonna to do to their body and they use that data to make them better. So if you're, if you're sitting there and you feel, you're on a bulk and you feel like absolute crap, maybe you're just eating 
the wrong food for you. Because a lot of people say like, oh, what food should I eat during a bulk? Well, I can name a list of foods, but if your stomach, if it doesn't agree with your stomach, with your biological profile, then it's not even good for you. It's not a good, it's not a good move. It's a good move for me, but it might make a good move for you. Like for me, I can down burgers. Like burgers on a bulk, they are easy. Not even difficult for me to get down. The grease in my stomach doesn't back me up too much. Uh, it's, 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 it's perfect for me. But for me to tell someone to down double cheeseburgers on a bulk, when that just makes them fat, then, or makes them super bloated, that's a better word than fat, that's a bad idea. Or maybe certain people, pasta is, doesn't do well with them. Maybe they need a different type of pasta. Maybe they need whole grain pasta. Maybe they need, you know, I don't know what you might need, but you gotta figure that out. I can give you guys the tips and the guidelines of what to do and what works and what doesn't work in general. But once you take the general knowledge from me, it'll be on you to make sure that it's actually applicable to you and your life and what you need for your fitness goals. The best thing I ever did was look at all these different influencers, look up the guys I like that know what they're talking about and then test it for myself. And once I test it for myself, I'll see, okay, well this worked for me or this didn't work for me. There is general knowledge that everyone knows. Now, the hardest part about fitness would be how to apply said knowledge to make it work for you or your client. And that's what separates the good fitness influencers or not even influencers, that's what separates the good people that know what they're doing about fitness and the experts. Because someone can know all the information but not know how to apply it and they're useless to you. They're useless. So you want to follow people that know how to apply different situations for different people, for different means, for different things. I know that can sound a little bit complicated, but I will explain that further and further as you guys follow my journey. So those are a few of my simple, not very simple, but a few of my bulking tips and what I'm doing. I'm about to put some butter on these Eggos and get to town because I'm a little behind on my meals for today. If you guys want any more content from me, any more videos, things you want to see, drop them in the comments and I'll make the video for you guys. And uh, let's keep bulkity bulking.